Hurricane Hugo left a trail of funds. Last time I saw it, it was just a very pretty little island, you know, with all these houses intact, all of this kind of thing. It was a real house, you know. The one consolation is that George is getting this together. So um, hopefully if this sells a decent amount of records, at least we'll be able to put some money into the situation and help people build the island back up, you know. Paul McCartney's contribution with Stevie Wonder was made on the island, like all the other songs on the record. Elton John, the police and status quo are among 30 big names who donated recordings, hoping this latest charity record won't suffer from compassion fatigue. When something like this happens, you can't really bother about charity fatigue, can you? You know, and just say sod them all. We're tired of giving charity. While governments aren't able to just run in with a lot of money and save the situation, it, it turns to the people who have to do it. And we being in the public eye uh, and in the entertainment business, it seems to have fallen to people like us to do this kind of thing. So at the risk of boring people, we, you just got to do it. Paul McCartney is now in Holland on his world tour. The Montserrat studios, where he and so many others have recorded, have escaped serious damage. But it'll be a long time before the island itself returns to normal. All the islanders are working very hard to try and get it back. But um, it's been so much devastation, it's going to be a long job. And nature will take a while to recover too. So they're hoping to get back in some kind of order by the new year. Montserrat's Islanders will receive nearly £3 for each record sold and £5 from each CD. After the hurricane, various artists, songs for Montserrat. It's a great, and it's a great bargain, actually. Good hey. bargain, as my mate George says. <laughs> it's for a brilliant cause. Go out and buy it. By now, and it's nice to know that compassion fatigue uh, isn't universal. Let's take a look now at the sports news with Archie.